Ladies and gentlemen, you know those friends that you used to have, who perhaps you were friends with for like 30 years, or family members that you've known forever? You know those people who told you two years ago, I can't be your friend. You're voting for Trump. He's an authoritarian. All the sky is falling. He's so mean. I can't be your friend anymore. I mean, what would my other friends say? Well... We are now preparing for food shortages. Food shortages. We have inflation at around 8%. Inflation was around 2% under Trump. We have um, gas prices at 6 and $7 in many locations throughout the U.S. Gas prices were around $3 with Trump, lower than that in many locations. We had economic growth with Trump. We're heading into a recession. This is 2022. Biden is now going into his, the, the approaching the end of his second year or the b middle of his second year in office. We have one of the most devastating catastrophes in Euro recent European history with two countries that provide a quarter, 25% or so, of the world's wheat production. And then they talk about, well, you know, Republicans didn't vote for uh, the, the, the child tax credit. It, 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 it lifted 3.5 or 3 million children out of poverty. A one-time <coughs> payment of around $2,000 what happens when families suffering with poverty, suffering uh, to make ends meet, and who are are, are suffering with with uh, uh, poverty issues pertaining to poverty? What happens when that money is spent? Eighteen hundred dollars could be spent in like a day or two or three, so or a week, and so. Inflation is a tax upon working people, upon poor people, upon the working class. Wealth inequality, this is the New York Times. February 2nd, 2022. Wealth inequality is the highest since World War II. But we've made up for it by mashed potato brains, our president, the same president that was supposed to be the adult in charge after the menace Trump presided over record low black and Latino unemployment, record low national unemployment, hundreds of thousands of new manufacturing jobs, uh, First Step Act. Uh, he negotiated the Doha Agreement, which reversed 20 years of failed foreign policy that Bush, Cheney, Rumsfeld, Kerry, Clinton, and mashed potato brains Biden voted for that... Uh, our beloved president now, who slurs his speech and doesn't know what's going on, completely botched. Those 13 Americans should be alive today. It was Biden and it was Biden, Blinken, Sullivan, all of these people, many of whom are being sued by Trump now, by the way. <laughs> Check out my segments prior to this one. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. But it was these people who completely botched the negotiated deal that said we had to leave May 1st, 2021. Those 13 Americans and over 100 Afghans should be alive today. That's what happens when you use the T-Ban as security. Th these are not the sharpest tools in the shed. The, the, the administration we have now is literally presiding over the potential end of the planet. We are... Just like we've done with media and the Democratic Party in the most apoplectic manner, tackling very important issues uh, in an apoplectic, hysterical manner. So now, it is, it, it's a virtuous deed to sanction that country that we'll get to in a second. It's a virtue, just like it was virtuous to do a whole bunch of things the past three, four years. It was, very, it was It showed your character to oppose Trump. I, I know people, I oppose you. I oppose Trump. Why, you think I care if you oppose Trump? You think I care what you think about anything? My God. These people are now literally presiding over potential nuclear annihilation. Well, we know gas prices. We know oil prices. We know inflation. We know we're heading into a recession. Elon Musk predicted that. I predicted a stock market crash that we're going to see. In October of last year, very few people in, in, in politics spoke about that. Like in the, in the financial world on YouTube, yes. 
Hit subscribe to this channel right this second, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost at 195,000 subs. Uh, I did a live stream about a couple hours ago. It was fantastic. But if you want to support my work, my Patreon is below in the pinned comment. Um, hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. That is below in the pinned comment, ladies and gentlemen, as well. I'll be doing more work on that, unfortunately, very soon because there will be a devastating, devastating stock market crash. Imminent. And a financial collapse that we're seeing slowly but surely. Unfortunately. This is because of the flawed and failed policies. You don't continue to sanction a country that's very... Okay, I'm against what they're doing, absolutely. But you don't, in a mindless manner, continue to sanction and continue to make it difficult for yourself so that even... So your sanctions then lead to, well, you know what Biden says, to expect real food, food shortages due to what's happening in Europe, okay? That is ridiculous. You should never engage in any foreign policy that leads to a food shortage in your country. Sorry, that's ridiculous, okay? And if the military alliance within, the, within, within Europe... Uh, was so revered, if it's so revered and it's so important, then they should have prevented in some way this catastrophe from, ta this catastrophe from taking place. Why didn't Biden, Sullivan, uh, Blinken, bumbling Blinken and Sullivan and President Exhumed Body, who's bumbling about all the time, like, do you not see the people who are so morally superior, the morally superior Democrats why didn't this administration push for some kind of negotiated deal? Because unlike Trump, who would have pushed for a negotiated deal, like everything Trump is saying about how he would be hawkish, that's not true. That's part of sometimes he engages in this shtick. That's not what he would do. What he would really do is negotiate a deal. Oh, you don't want to be part of that? Uh, okay, so uh, Vladimir doesn't want Kiev as part of that alliance? Okay. So I'm speaking in friendly terms now for the algorithm. So okay, so let's negotiate a deal, and so make sure make sure that Vlad doesn't uh, invade. But see, that's not what Biden did because he knows his. It's been an utter catastrophe economically. Inflation and gas prices and oil prices were soaring, and when people say, "Well, it's a, it's a global thing," yeah. There were multinational uh, organizations that told these countries and Democrats, oh, they they oh they were obedient and they uh, they were very uh, loyal and and then they and they listened because because these people were smart smarter than tr Trump and they they were working for our best interests. So there were multinational organizations telling all Western countries, including the U.S., to do this, do that, do this, do that, do this, do that, and we were doing it. And guess what? That's why inflation is a global thing, or at least very, very uh, difficult in Western, uh, skyrocketing in Western countries. We all tanked our economies like complete and utter buffoons and imbeciles because media and Democrats said, it's too soon, it's too soon. Trump said, Trump never should have acquiesced, but he said, let's open up. Early on in 2020, that was too soon, too soon, contrary to the advice of experts. The experts, oh, they are so smart. They're smarter than you. And you have like a whole bunch of people. They're smarter than you. They're smarter than you. You should listen to them. Ah, now we have the smartest, most educated maniacs tanking the world one step at a time. These are the same people who don't want to talk to you. I, I can't be your friend anymore. I want to know what you know. I oppose you. What do I care? <laughs> it was the most hilarious thing I've ever heard in my life. I mean, this, is this middle school? Is this high school? And I knew what would take place. I knew, I knew Mashed Potato Brains had no accomplishments in his life. A, a failed intervention in Libya. Completely failed. Oh, guess what? By that alliance. Under President Obama's watch, he destroyed Libya. And he got the Nobel Peace Prize prior to that. Crimea was taken under President Obama, and now you have the entire country taken under a mashed potato brains. Inflation through the roof. Uh, this is Jimmy Carter 2.0, except the uh, the uh, brain impaired version. And I mean, he, he was eating uh, uh, he was eating pizza today. He's, oh yeah, we're gonna head on out there. Nobody cares. 
He's not a salt of the earth type of person. He's a political creature. He's, I, I Biden could be labeled the corporate Bernie Sanders, or I, not, not like, not so much in terms of ideology, perhaps, but he's like. He has this charade that he upholds. I'm just a salt of the earth person. Come on, man. Hey, you ever been to a uh, uh, merry go around? Yeah, come on now, man. Come on, you know, man. Come on, man. Come on. Here's my vanilla ice cream. Uh, look at me. I'm so normal with my aviators. These are the. I, I want to take care of the planet. Really? How, how about those fossil fuels going way up and the strategic oil deserves? And now the, his administration is saying, well, the gas comp oil and gas company should drill, baby, drill. Not that, they're suing Biden's administration. They're, everything he's done is he, he, he wealth inequality is worse. Poverty is increased. Inflation is increased. Everything's worse. Literally everything is worse. But if you have money and you're a liberal, morally superior liberal Democrat, what do you care? You feel good. Everybody you know, you don't even, you don't know a Trump supporter. And you've purged yourself of every supporter of Trump. You don't even know the other side. You never watch Fox News. Every once in a while, I'll, you know, that's why you watch this channel. I'll, I'll do what you don't want to do, and I'll do it for you. I'll watch MSNBC and CNN and see what they're saying. It's complete nonsense, usually. I'll watch... The you know, hardcore liberal YouTubers see what they're saying. It's always the same. They're not talking about inflation. They're not talking about uh, the poverty rate anymore. It's, it's getting worse. They're not talking about recession. They're not talking about a stock market crash. They're not talking about wheat prices. They're not talking about commodity prices through the roof. They're not talking about um, uh, the crisis in Europe taking place under their watch. This was supposed to all happen under Trump. Didn't happen under Trump. None of this happened under Trump. Then they say, well, it's a global thing. Yeah, it's a global thing because all of these Western countries, Australia, New Zealand included, uh, engaged in terrible, you know, counterproductive policies, tanking their economy. Then poverty increased. Then they uh, sent out checks, 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 and, and, and stimulus. And now we're going to have to increase because of $10 trillion into the economy, increase interest rates as if. It's a fantastic economy. We're increasing interest rates at the worst moment, geopolitical moment in European recent European history, while we're heading into a recession. And we're in the second year of uh, President Exum's body's tenure. So gas prices, not his fault. Inflation, not his fault. What's happening in Europe, not his fault. Nothing is his fault. If something happens in the farthest reaches of the universe, Trump's fault, indict him but they can't indict him, he'll get the, it's like James Brown, the big payback. He, you'll get the big pay, big payback with Trump, the orange payback. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Food shortages. Ah, well, at least Trump isn't tweeting. Food shortages. Nuclear annihilation. What's there not to like? Well, at least Trump isn't tweeting. I just want to let you know, I, I can't be your friend anymore. You're funny for Trump. Trump. Give me your thoughts. Hit subscribe. Thank you.